Welcome to Tinker Club. Here we are for another exciting science-based activity. I've got my special steam tie on. I can wonder what you can guess we'll be getting to play with today. Yes, that's right. We're going to be doing Lego. I've got all the cool things that I like to build with my kids. We've got a transporter. We've got our T-Rex. Best thing about our transporter is it can carry a real car. Uh, my boys and I love playing with all these different things. And today, we're gonna be building things with our Lego. Got a few challenges for you today. I hope you enjoy. I've got myself all set up, ready to go for our challenge, which is seeing who can build the biggest tower. Can you un build one higher than you? Can you build one higher than mum or dad? Now, there's gonna be one special rule. No base plates. That's cheating. That's already such a wide foundation. So let's have a look at some little tips that we can have to see how you can build a nice tall tower that isn't going to fall down. When building with our bricks, if we just get our bricks and stack them on top of each other, one at a time, like this, okay, we're going to get a lot of height because we don't have bricks spreading out around the base. But as we get taller and taller, it's going to be very easy for the tower to fall over because it doesn't have a wide base. So any little thing that comes in long and bumps it, it's going to fall down. So, okay, let's make it wider. And you can see got a base here, but they're not stuck together. To make a strong base, we need to change the directions that the bricks go when we clip them together. So put two side by side this way, and then we go in the opposite direction when we go up a level. And then we turn them again, and we turn them again, and we keep going like that as we build our tower. Now you notice I've used the same number of bricks, but my tower isn't as high. But look, now when I try and knock it over, it just slides around the table because it's got a much wider base. So we have to look at ways. Can we make a wide base without using many bricks? Because the wider we go, the, the more stable it would be. So we can start off looking at something like, we take inspiration from the real, real world like the Burj Khalifa, and it's got some struts that go out to the side. So you're thinking it's almost like giving it a tripod. Notice how when I'm building my bricks, I'm overlapping where the joins are. This will make it nice and strong. So I get to my middle section, these ones are handy. Extra long bricks. Okay, clip them in. Clip them in there. This is where I. So we keep going out, building out, building out. Now we need another one for this side. Okay. Oh. Building out, building out. Right. Okay, so there's no precise way that we need to be doing this. It's just whichever way works best for you. And if you can leave, see I've got a, a gap in there now. So I get minus four, put in there. And now when I clip it together, once again, going across those joins, I don't have any gaps. Let's make this a little bit wider to give it some more 
support. Look how long that one is. I'm going to swap that out so I can have a nice long one because that's not going to make my towel much higher. So there we go. Now I can start building up higher and higher. Oh, don't want that one there. Still don't want a single, t just a single row just yet. If I had a single row now, it would already start to fall down. So I hope you are building along with me. There's more than one right way to do this. I didn't count out the bricks, but you can see I've kind of made a T shape. You could make a Y shape. And I keep building up high, and you can see it's really strong base now. Really hard to make that rock, and I can build it up higher and higher as we go. Now, I'm sure you don't want to watch me build a tower as tall as I am, because that would take forever. But what we're going to look at now is a couple of little cheeky ways that we can get bricks all the way we can add some extra height on without too many bricks. Now I don't know if you've heard of a term called a snot block. So these are the blocks, snot stands for snot stud not on top, not the boogers in your nose. But if I attach this snot block to the side here and then I get one of these ones. I have to move it way back so it fits in the camera. Oh, there we go. You can see there, one piece adds so much height. And then I can get another one and add it on. You can see it broke off though. So this is a trick for you doing right at the top where it's very delicate and you just want one little bit on to get some extra height because this isn't stable to use at the base to keep building up. And now, look how tall I've got my tower there. Okay. So there's some tips to help get you started. Some tips about you need a strong wide base so it doesn't fall over, it gets as it gets taller. You want to change the direction of your bricks as you stack them to give your tower extra strength. And then you can use our snot blocks to change the direction you're attaching Lego onto so you can use long pieces and give yourself a boost to the height right at the end there. I hope you have fun building your tall towers. I can't wait to see what you make. Can you get it higher? than mum and dad, could you even make it touch the roof? I can't wait to see it. Have fun, see you next time.